It's Sunday evening, July 28th, 2013, and we're near Duneside, Saskatchewan, looking eastward along Township Road 112 to the crossing of the Canadian National Railway down there. Now, I'm not sure what was at Duneside. There was a school named after the first post office that was opened in the area by George Faulkner on August the 1st, 1895. It was called Rosetti Post Office and it was closed March 31st, 1917. The last elevator on the site, there were only ever two and not very long. And a little farther eastward along 112, Range Road 223 crossing, looking to the southeast along the line that the Canadian Northern laid through here in 1907 from Brandon to Regina eventually. It's been Canadian National since 1917 or 18 or 19. This is all undifferentiated glacial till in through here. A mixture of sands and silts and clays, boulders, good farmland in some areas, good pasturage in others began attracting settlers with the running of Canadian Pacific's main line through the neighborhood about 18 miles north in 1881. The earliest settlers remembered are the Campbells, the Callenders, the Millers, and the Everetts. Now, though Canadian Northern built the line through here in 1907, it wasn't until 1911 that the company dropped off a freight passenger shelter at mile 89.0 from Brandon, Manitoba on what CN would call its Cromer sub. It was removed, and who knows when. This elevator dates from 1912. It was built by the Saskatchewan Cooperative Elevator Company and taken over by the Wheat Pool in 1926 and closed in 1973. The other one, built by British America Elevator Company, was up before 1911 and closed in 1920. What else there was at Duneside, I really don't know. Wilbert John Franklin opened a post office in the site April 1st, 1933, maybe in a store, or maybe in the parlor of his house. And he himself closed it on June 30th, 1969. Duneside, Saskatchewan.